Anyway, all right, let's start. Right. There we go. Yep. Great. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this episode of Beer Spain. I forgot the number. Uh, the date, 25. though, it is 25? I think so. That's probably right. The date is October 11th. Um, today's beer tasting is going to be Oktoberfests. Um, generally speaking, every beer in front of us, there are eight, is actually labeled on a can as Oktoberfest. I believe we have one that's like a Dortmund Lager, which they brewery called one they of their called Oktoberfest it offerings. Yes. So that's going to be good. Um, so that's the plan for today. These are all going to be probably about 5%, so hopefully we won't get uh, too crazy near the end. Um, hopefully not. So we had a good day yesterday. I'm going to start off with a little <laughs> recap for yesterday. Uh, yesterday we went out to Davis. Davis. Uh, it's my first time actually in the town of Davis, not just driving through on a freeway. <laughs> and uh, we stopped at some breweries. So Shane's going to give you a little script report here, talk about the breweries we hit up, uh, yeah. what we thought. Um, eventually, the article will go up on the webpage probably later this week as well. Yes, so. I'll be writing up a little blog about our first stop. So I'm Beers Not Esquire, yes. Shane, Corey, or Hoppy Hippo. Uh, yesterday, let's see, we started with a trip to Dunlow Brewing. Um, they are not open for on premises consumption yet, but they are open for sales. They are planning to open for on premise, hopefully, in a couple of weeks. Now. They did say in a couple of weeks, which I would look forward to. The building. Um, it's beautiful. It, it's a great old brick building. He said it was a PG substation, right? A, basically, a, a power generation station to uh, to increase the the apparently the nitrogen phone or something. I don't know, but but it's a beautiful old brick building. The walls are like a foot and a half thick. He yeah. said made of brick, uh, barn doors, a little patio area on the outside. Uh, it, it was really, like I said, I thought it was a nice little place just outside of the downtown downtown Davis. Um, Lots of food, lots of shopping, but it's just around the corner off of Richards Boulevard. Um, we did pick up a bunch of beers. We planned to do a tasting, but the the, the brewer guy was really friendly, yep. super nice. The dogs were there a little crazy, but very playful and helpful. We did not um, have to try any beer on site. No. Uh, We've had a Dunlow before. We've had we a couple of Dunlows before. Yes. We, we really enjoyed their uh, Black Lager. And I, want to say one of I could be wrong. We really enjoyed their Black Lager. We did. So that's how they came to our attention. Yes. And then uh, after that, we went to Three Mile. Three Mile. So we went right. to downtown Davis. Mm -hmm. Which is in downtown Davis. Um, Three Mile had a, a beautiful setup because it was basically a, a square-shaped building, but all like a courtyard. open in the courtyard in the middle. Uh, and they had, apparently had a couple of different places. The brewery over here behind all glass and then, and then the, the facility, the tap house right next to it. They were serving Woodstock pizza. And if you don't like Woodstock pizza, there's something wrong with Probably you. Don't like pizza. They make good pizza. Um, great beer selection. They had 12 on tap, I believe it was. Yeah, it was 12 on tap. I think we tried, we, I think we might have tried 11 of the 12. We did. I think we tried 11 of the 12. We skipped the farmhouse, I think. But that's how you got the Saison. No, no, I got the Saison. Oh, but not the farmhouse. farmhouse. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, so yeah, no, and it was a, another nice facility. Uh, the outdoor area was great. They even had some um, had patio seating on the street as well. Right, on the street. Uh, out front, so um, that guy was also super nice and helpful. Um, the beers I thought were really good. We brought some home. Can't wait to taste some more. Yeah, I thought they're all pretty. Um, I thought they're all pretty solid on examples. The, yeah. the raspberry saison was uh, not on the super tart side. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. A little tartness and some yeah. raspberry, which was nice. The, and uh, the we also like the, the double. I think the, the double yeah. was good. The double the, dry hop, I think, was the, really right. Good, right. There was and there was one other one too, like a the German style. I forget which one it was. The, the, that we had today. Oh, they had a Mars in it. Yeah, great. they had a Mars in too. So it was, they made some pretty good beers. Uh, then we went to uh, Sudwork was that. Sudwork or Sudwerk, if you want to be. We did stop at Davis Creamery in between the two. That was got <laughs> ice cream. Oh, well, I got ice cream and my daughter got ice cream. And now I got a flight there too. Turns out they do ice cream flights. So I got yeah, a nice I was going to say, ice cream flight. Nice yeah. little four ice cream flight. Uh, it was great. If you're in the Davis area, I'd recommend it. It was like six bucks for a pretty decent amount of, I'm pretty sure, like on site ice cream or at least locally made ice cream. Yeah. 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 Then, then we moved on to Sudwork. So then we went to Sudwork. Go on to Sudwork. <laughs> so, uh, and, and it's, it was a little strange because I hadn't been to Sudwork in a while. We'd been there in the 90s when we were up there for my going to college. And they used to have a really big outdoor seating area that I assumed was going to be their outdoor seating area. But it wasn't. They basically it was cordoned off the parking lot. Yeah, it was the whole, that whole side of the building was shut down. So I'm not even sure they work in that part of the building anymore. There's basically like a giant warehouse spot on the backside now. And they just cordoned off some some um, of the parking spaces and, and had put up some tents. Put up, yeah, put up some pop-ups and whatever. And, and they had a couple of good beers. You know, truthfully speaking, their German styles are better than their IPAs. It's just a fact. Their, their, their Meritzen was, I thought, was really good. 
<clears throat> their IPAs were okay. The food was pretty good. We really like the sliders. I consider the food to be fairly good. It was probably average. I thought it was fine. I like the sliders a lot. I didn't uh, try sliders. Assistant so. producer yes. liked the sliders too. Uh, the pizza didn't look all that great. No, uh, it was a long wait for food, but that just kind of happens, you know? So um, people should be patient and not impatient, you know? Assistant producer Callie liked the fried pickles. <laughs> she did. I barely even got to eat them. She killed me. Yeah, so, yeah. So. So that was that. Stop. They had a few beers. with a couple IPAs, yep. uh, a couple of hazies. They had a low calorie hazy. Um, Which was actually pretty good. But the wife tried it's okay. Yeah. It, was, it was pretty good. I think all right is probably the red. Yeah. Honestly, I would consider like our trip to suburb probably to just be all right. I wasn't particularly impressed. I was more impressed by three miles, certainly. I agree. I agree. I was a little disappointed in said work, but you know, it's, I, I hadn't been there in 20 plus years. So, you know, and, and again, I, their, their German style beers just, I think are better than the American style beers. Right. And then we finished up at- No, 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 <laughs> no, we did not finish up. No, no, we have two more stops to go, you guys. We don't fuck around when we go on road trips and drink. What did I miss? Uh, oh, the yeah. The next stop was Solano Brewing. Solano Brewing, which is, yeah, we which, went there next. Which had a beautiful property. It looks like um, it's like a farm. <laughs> Basically, like, yeah, acreage. Like acreage. Mm -hmm. um, they had a full-on um, warehouse, not warehouse, like a full barn size yep. set up for their brewing. Yep. Um, we got to chat their brewers up for a couple of minutes. Yes. That was pretty cool. Super cool. Or the brewers are cool. Like, I don't know. The, the, was like the lady inside was pretty cool. Um, they were very nice. They have a nice outdoor section, too, with a grass mm -hmm. section, a bunch of seating. They had two food trucks yesterday. Yes. Um, all we got was some tots, though, because you just have to get a food to get your drinks. So we didn't really try their food trucks. No. Uh, they do have future plans, though. I guess they're going to expand the grass area a little more, put in some games, stuff like that. So the it's, beer was good. If the beer, I thought the beer was good. I thought that was really good. Yeah. I thought the location was really good. I thought, you know, it was it was a great little spot for a brewery. You know, like you say, just some acreage. It's not too far off the beaten path. It wasn't no, that too far. Bad. You know, so yeah, the I beer. liked it. The beer tender didn't make the mistake of asking us what our favorite beer slash brewery was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She did. That's a she conversation she, right there. Yeah, she like after about five minutes of like she probably didn't mean to have that much conversation with us about beer, but you know, just that's what we do. She just figured we were gonna talk about yeah. like, one beer style or one beer place. No, no that's not how we work. No, that's cool. how we work. We were like our favorite in Denver was this, and our favorite in so here is that. And that was yeah, good dude. Northern California, Bay Area. <laughs> so that yeah, was it, was, it was pretty much what it was. That was fun. And then we went to one more stop, Rust Hall. Roostaller. Roostaller. Yes. R U H S T L A. R U H, yes. yes. Which is um, a little hole in the wall kind of place. Yeah, you know, you. just in a, in a uh, again, warehouse type spot. Um, I, I actually did like the, the decor, the old woods type yeah, stuff. I thought it was a nice vibe. Had a cool vibe, some seating out front. The, the beer tender was really friendly, nice. Uh, the peanuts were good. I thought, the beer, I, thought the beer, I thought the beer was pretty good. I enjoyed mine. I got a, when I got, I got the red IPA on nitro. I'm yes. not sure it benefited from the nitro, to be honest. But it, it's I fine. know IPAs on nitro don't do it for me. That's just, you know, I much prefer the creamier things, you know, when I get a stout or, I think yeah. that's a stout or, or you know, golden ale. Yeah. Golden stout. I definitely, I definitely think that, uh, oh, apparently assistant producer Kelly did not quite see No, I moved it. Oh. oh. <clears throat> so, uh, so, that was good. And then, then we rolled home, basically. And then we rolled home. Yeah, we did stop at the, the, Farmers oh, market. we did stop at Dixon Dixon yeah. Fruit Market. We picked up a lot of nuts. A lot, a lot of, a lot of yummy nuts. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Almonds Lots and of yummy corn nuts. nuts and and that they, they had peaches, which you know I was glad for it. Watermelon and peaches. Yeah, it was good. It was a really good. It was a really good trip. Uh huh. Uh, we were out there for like six hours six or hours, so. We like that. We pay, we paced our trips off pretty nicely. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. It was really fun though. We're gonna head back, I think, probably in a month or so when um, Dunlow opens up their patio. Yeah. Let's check it out. Have a drink there. Um, yes. Like you said, they were really friendly. They gave us an invite out to come on out on a time when they were closed and give us a little tour. Just chat us up about beer. So that was pretty awesome. It was. It was. We had a good time. So I'm um, looking forward to having Definitely, I think the best beer we had yesterday, I thought, was a Three Mile. I agree. My overall, I actually think everything about Three Mile was just a little bit better than everybody else's. The, the setup was really nice. The, you know, the windows, big, tall area. Yeah, it was nice. It was, it was I thought it was good. It was well designed for being in the middle of like a downtown, I think. Sometimes you put it in something in the middle of the downtown, you just kind of end up with like a like a slightly more airy bar. But I like the way they have the courtyard. They sort of have yep. two separate sections with all the yep. tanks and stuff. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, I thought it worked pretty good. Yep. So, okay, so um, that's that's the recap for yesterday's trip. Um, we better start drinking these things before they get too warm here. Um, yeah, I'm kidding. As mentioned, today's beers are Oktoberfests. We have eight different Oktoberfests here, <laughs> representing seven different breweries. Yes. Uh, there are two field works in here. Yes. Um, so from field work. Two from field work, one from Altima. Um, we also got like two of the uh, German beers, uh, like door. I don't know. We got two German ones. Steinbach. 
Yeah, I don't, can't remember. We'll see later, I guess. It'll we'll, be a surprise. We'll we'll, yeah. uh, Local wise, we also have Golden Road, which I guess is LA. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, in SAC, I guess. If yes. That one is open. It was open last time we were there. It burned down. Now it's open again. So. Yes, it was yeah, Golden open. Road. Um, Eight Bridges is in here. Eight Bridges is in that's, here. That's Livermore local. That is very local. Yes. So two Livermore breweries in the, in the, in the mix. All right. So Shane, why don't you tell us about Oktoberfest? Tell us what we're expecting. So again, we're talking German style beers, which is, you know, your, your lagered, cold, fermented. Um, they tend to be, as you can tell, um, darker in color than the typical Pilsners. Even a little bit darker, I think they should be than your typical lagers. Um, it, it's just the, a little bit of extra malt added into the mix for some spice, I guess, to put maltiness. it. You know, <laughs> malt for maltiness, really. Um, they, they they really do tend to be like Meritsons, and they really do look beautiful. I like the uh, the darker color ones oh, better. They smell great, too. but you know, I, and they, of, you should get they're warmer. <clears throat> Than well, like an IPA, yeah, something like you that. know, they're supposed to, you're not supposed to get a lot of bitterness, a lot of hops, you're supposed to get more of the sweet maltiness to them. And like I say, the colors they should be more on the brown side than on the yellow side, but um, you know, it's that time of year, it kind of feels like October. a traditional. They feel you know, like when I think of a beer, like this before I became some craft beer snob, um, this is kind of what I would think of in a beer, it's one of these sort of like mm -hmm. October fest stop beers, mm -hmm. a little browner in color, like right. a real sort of beery smell, for lack of yes, a better they term. should have a. Yes. Um, so I'm a big fan of Oktoberfest mm -hmm. generally. They're good beers. They're very. They tend to be very drinkable. They're not super high in alcohol. So you know, but they tend to be very. They should be crisp. A little bit of maltiness to them. Not a ton of alcohol. No bitterness. That's pretty much what you want. All right. So typically um, on this, uh, for those who are just tuning in, we will go through. We'll rate appearance first, and then we'll rate smell second. Then we'll start the tastings. Um, it's usually kind of graded on a curve where, um, especially the taste-wise, we we'll sort of rate the first one, right. rate the other ones kind of based on how we feel yep. about the first one, better's, worse's. Um, uh, typically, we're, we're pretty we're pretty nice for most of We're pretty good. Yeah, we, we, we try not to kill them. Um, we don't want to do really bad. Um, so let's talk about appearance first. Uh, as you can see, uh, hopefully you can see, there are a couple different varieties in color for sure. Mm -hmm. um, it could be a lighter thing, but like certainly <laughs> two... And five are lighter than the rest. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm gonna downgrade those a little well, bit for that because I do think they I think should that's be fair, darker. They should be a little darker. I think. Should be more like one, three, four, and I think seven, six over here looks a little lighter too, but not six as light. It's kind of in right. between. Six oh, and eight are a tiny back. bit lighter. Six. Should be one, two, six, three, four, seven, five, six, seven, eight. No, yeah. you said left to right, front to back. Oh, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got it. Yes. So seven is the color I want seven. my Marsins to be. There we go. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to start with seven. I'm going to rate that. Honestly, on appearance, I think it might actually be a ten um, for the Marsins. It's got you can see through it, but it's got a beautiful golden color, like, um, I know, like a good darkish good. color. I think it's the best looking of the bunch. Even the head looks a little nice. Um, this one didn't have any head at all, even when we got it. The other ones at least have retained a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if that just means it wasn't carbonated or what. Maybe it's cool. Yeah. Um, Let's see. I think it should be reasonably fresh. Um, Unfortunately, we did not have any issues like last week when we had like a three-year-old beer that was no good. <laughs> <laughs> Our bad. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna give this one a ten. It's kind of kind of be my baseline based on the uh, appearance for myself. I gave it. I gave it a nine. I like this even number two here a little bit more because it's just a little bit darker. Sure. That's my ten. That's fair. So that's number two. That's fair. I think that um, probably the lighter ones. Um, so eight, eight, six, <clears throat> one. I think are probably going to be, well, I think eight and six, I think are going to be, um, are going to be sevens for me. Five and eight, six, I'm going to give it a six. Seven. Seven. It, it, eight beers is so much scoring. It is a lot of scoring. Uh, eight and six. Seven, eight. Eight, I'm going to give it a six. Um, I'm going to give an eight to this one here back here, which is a little darker. It's kind of in between. And I'm going to give a nine to the other ones. Though. So this is one I'm going to give um, an eight to. And I'm going to go nine on the other ones because they're all... Fairly similar to this one, but not quite as nice, I think, in color for me, personally. I did, and I did knock four down a little bit as well because of the lack of head. I think that's probably fair, actually. I'll take off that thing, too. That's probably fair. I did actually make a comment about the lack of head. Um, so now we're going to smell them. Smell them. Um, we're hoping for is, um, I don't know, I'm hoping for like a beery smell. I don't know. Yeah, they, you should smell a lot like the sweetness of when you're brewing. You know, when you walk into a brewery and you smell those malts, mm, you, should, yeah. you should get a little bit of that. Mm-hmm. And there's like definitely you can smell it. Mm -hmm. I'm actually just going to go on and try to use my memory to sort of remember that. I'm going to smell a few in a row here before I, before I start scoring, I think. That one's a little lighter on this one. It is lighter than one. I agree, I agree. Put one more to it. That's pretty reasonable. Oh my 
to get in a whole lot of this. Oh, you guys will be happy to know this week I can smell, so hashtag no COVID. <laughs> you don't get a lot of smell on this one, do you? I get some. Not as much as one. I think one so, far, so far, one. Yeah, I think one is the yeah. best aroma so far. Yeah. These are also pretty. That one smells good, too. This one's got more of an alcohol forward smell. I'm getting more alcohol out of Nana than that. I think so. But it's got a good aroma. I always wonder what it's like watching three, watching two guys just smell, smell beer, beer for like two <laughs> minutes. Tom Baldy is watching it. Yeah, Tom's right. Hey, Tom. What up, Tom? <clears throat> Send me that date. You know we invited you out. You try right. to have some of this October you could have been part of this mess. <laughs> Turns out we had enough beer. Yeah. <laughs> really did. I'm not getting a lot out of this one. Number five. I've got a little bit, too. I really am. So far, one is really just... I think one is probably going to be the... One is definitely based on Candice. This looks like a Pilsner to me. Not a yeah. lot. No, no. It, it needs it. And I'm not getting a whole lot of smell from it either. I'm getting basically nine. So that's good. I'm just seven. Seven. Yeah. I'm going to give it a seven. Yeah. So us, I'm going to give it a seven. This one's got the smell I like, actually. Mm -hmm. This one is, yeah. This one and one, I think, are right on. Yeah. It could be biased, right? Because I rated that the best in appearance. So automatically, I want it to be better in other categories. Be. No, I, so I agree. It smelled great. This one's got a little bit of a two, but not quite a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I'm going to go with a nine as my baseline for these two. One and uh, seven for myself. Right there. Which makes it easy because they're on the same, they're line. On the same line. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go down to a seven here on um, number two. Yeah, two, eight, and um, mm -hmm. six. Mm -hmm. Which also makes it easy. Oh, two and eight on this one, right? Six. Well, I, was, I was going to go seven on this, right? Yeah, seven. Seven. Yeah, seven. I'm going to go with. Seven. I think the other ones are probably an eight because there's definitely yep. a smell there. Um, they're not as good as the one, but they're not as bad as the other one. I think. Okay. The bad being not bad, as in just right. not as Just great. not not quite the again maltiness that we're really looking for. Not a whole lot of smell. Not, not quite as great. Beer smell. I mean, you know, if you've been watching us, you know that Shane and I we tend to drink a lot of IPA, so we're used to um a lot of I drink a lot of hazies, um, especially. So I'm used to a really a very. <clears> it hits easy you before smell. you even like, touch it. Like you're here with the glass. And it's already there. Yeah, but the really good ones you just it's right yep. there. It's right there. Yep. All right, so um, let's taste. Let's taste. Start with one. It's good. It is good. It is good. It's got that flavor. It's got the berry flavor. Um, oh no, that's solid. That's I. So you get that little sweet finish. Yeah, right in the malt. You can taste. You can really. You can taste the grain. Two jacks. <clears throat> you can taste the grain in this. I think this is really, really good. It's really, it's what I was, it's what I'm expecting. It's <clears throat> I agree. What I'm expecting. It's what, it's what I want. Yeah, I think it's really good. It's probably, I'm gonna I'm go, I'm gonna go pretty thing. high here. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna go 28. It's I was exactly gonna go 27. I'm mostly because. <laughs> Tom <laughs> says he doesn't know how good he would be at beer splaining. <laughs> <laughs> All you gotta do is talk about how much you like the beer or don't like the beer. It's that, you know. um, bitterness on the back of the tongue though. But that's the maltiness. You want to get a little bit of that. I didn't get a whole lot of the back, mostly in the sides. I'm actually going to go um, 18 on the aftertaste as well. I just think this is a really, really good beer. I'm going to bump it a little bit on drinkability. Um, I could probably of the colors sit back, play some cards. I could, I could drink. Um, I could definitely just drink like several of these as like a, a night, like a beer. That's the beer I'm going to drink for the night, for example. Which is good because I bought six packs of all these, so I got plenty of fucking beer. So um, I give this a 90. Yeah, my rating is going to be pretty out high, actually. Um, 89, 17. <clears throat> yeah, we all look at that as the best color. Yeah, I give it a 90 also. Yeah, 90. That's a good score. That's a great that's a score. score. Yeah, that's a great score. I'm going to not drink all this so I can refer back to it in case I need to. That's a fair one. I do have my water. How <laughs> uh, a smidge. Um, Shane, of course, is using a beer glass for his, his water. A Coors beer glass. Oh, you know I might be drinking the Coors. Side tangent. Yeah, tour. side tangent. If you're in Colorado, go to the Coors tour. Go do the Coors tour. 100%. It's fun. It's really, really it fun. Um, you get a couple free beers afterwards. It's beautiful um, facility. The beer options are not the worst because they've got their um, Colorado only brand on tap. Right. Which is mm -hmm. really nice. The facility itself is beautiful. Uh, the wait wasn't terribly long. It was like a 30 minute wait. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't bad at all. But we were there like in the middle of the day. Yeah, I'm sure right. you probably get better time. In um, the middle of the week too. But it was the yeah. summer. Right, it was June, July. Like the sheer that. scope of the operation oh, is Lord. Yeah, mind it's, blowing. Yes. Yeah. Like, you, Wait, could you, into the, you could look into the mashes. Like there was this fucking look at the, like, the mashes. They were just giant mashes right at the you end. You had a telescope to see the far end of the canyon bay. You, you could see we, it was that deep. And we were in a telescope to be able to see, or binoculars, I guess. Yeah, binoculars, whatever. 
to see at the very end. It was gigantic. And the candy line is a yeah, it was just thing of beauty to behold, man. It was just pushing through cans and shit. Wow. wow. That was, it was definitely if you go to Colorado. Great tour. We've got some other little places you can visit too, but you gotta do that tour. Including possibly the beer, the possibly the brewery that we said, I said at least, is probably my favorite brewery potentially of all time um, that I've gone to, I think. Um, it's this uh, little uh, German um, house in uh, Denver. I can't remember the name of it right now. But, um, I'll look it up though. Maybe. No, that was just beer house. It was, it was just Rue Garden or something like that. It's like yeah. Beer House or Brew House. Like it's, in the art, it's in the art district. <clears throat> best cool. overall layout, party, scene. Got to go. And really, really, really good beer. We had way too much. Didn't we, assistant producer? Yes. Some of us had way, way too, too much. much. <laughs> it's okay. It's literally the only time I think it's ever actually happened, though. So you know the beer was that good. We were playing life-size <laughs> beer pong with 50-gallon drums and volleyball. Amazing drums. We were playing life size, life size uh, cornhole, cornhole, bean bean bags. Bag chairs. Yes. How uh, they do a slow pour <laughs> filter? It takes fifteen minutes to make it. Fifteen minutes to get. Fifteen mm-hmm. minutes to put it in the glass. It's 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 overall it's really good. Um, I'm kind of disappointed. It's a little in this bitter one. to me, right? The outside. Yeah. Like, it tastes it's, like white <laughs> where I'm wanting yeah. to be. No, I, I, I'm agreeing with you. It's not. It, it's a little. It's light on the malt and heavy on other flavors that I'm just not a big fan it's, of. Yeah, it's less. It's less October festy to me. I think than I was expecting. I would agree with that. <clears throat> It tastes, I don't know, it just tastes too light to me. So, which is... I mean, it's not bad, but I'm going Disappointing like because it's my favorite color. I'm going 23. I'm going to yeah. go 23. It smells just like and number one, but lighter. Teen on aftertaste. I actually thought that smell was less than like 24. Well, lighter is why I scored it lower than the fair singer. 50. Uh, 80. <laughs> so I did not like it. Well, it's it's a good beer. It's a I gave it a, I gave it a 16 because I do like the aftertaste. 16. Was I think it's good. Cigarettes? It's not. Yeah. I, it tastes like cigarettes? So. It's going to be forced by fire drinkability, I think. It's, it's, it's like a tobacco flavor, flavor. flavor, not necessarily cigarettes. It's like a tobacco at the very end. I also gave this one an 80. What the hell, Shane? I know, right? So I'm still, still in my scores. scores. Well, you know. I'm still, still in my scores. <clears throat> uh, all right, well, let's see here. On to number three. Oh, those of you who are wondering, don't worry. We will finish all of these, just maybe not during the actual live. Yeah, we won't make you sit watch your drink all over. Nobody wants to watch that. Yeah, we, we may or may not make you watch us do some eating. It's, it's hard to tell. The wife made some shepherd's pie, so that might end up in the middle of the table for a minute so you guys can admire the wonders of uh, my wife's cooking. Which really should be a show all of its own. Which one day will have its own YouTube yes. live. <laughs> yes, totally. I disagree. should totally have it. This one reminds me more of the second one than the first one from a taste perspective. <clears throat> this has got more malt to it than the last one. It does. But it's not, um, the finish is, well, let me double check, but the finish seems lighter to me. It does feel like a lighter beer than the other one. I think that's reasonable. <sighs> it's got more, it's got more of the Oktoberfest flavor than beer number two, but. I mean, I think I'm going to rate it the same on taste and aftertaste probably as the previous one. Actually, I like the aftertaste better on this one. Then number two, but I like the taste of number two better. This one's the up front. I don't know. It's just it's in, it's intrusive. It's I don't know. It's, it's got an alcohol flavor. <clears throat> that might be what it is. Let's see. <clears throat> just a, like the hint of you can taste the alcohol. Yeah, I actually, I actually think it's worse than the last one. I'm just not getting the flavors that I want out of it. I think I'm gonna drop it a little bit. I'm gonna give it a twenty-three. <clears throat> I give it a twenty-two. Good after taste. I'm sorry. Good after taste. Oh, after taste. Yeah. Gotta get the after taste. I think it's fine. It's it's good. I, I, don't, get, know, I don't know how to describe the aftertaste necessarily. Like uh, describing aftertaste, I think it's harder than the, describing the, the front taste. I had described the aftertaste on this as a little bit more like a lager or a, or a pilsner. It's really, lighter, but fair. it's not as malty as I want it to be. But I did like the aftertaste of this one better than number two, so I gave it a point after. I got seventy nine. This one. Oh, yeah, 78. You cheated, Corey. Yes. <laughs> it's because you it's because I went 23 and I taste you went 22. That's true. That's why. That is why. Um, I will note that several of these beers you can probably try yourself, even if you're not watching us from the local Bay Area, because they are some of the big major October Sierra Nevada. Ones. Sierra's right. on here. Um, then like the German ones and one of the other. I said um it's one of the big um one of the big brewery I can't remember the name of it. Was it Sam Adams? It was Sam Adams, I think. I think Sam they Adams usually do it. Sam Adams is right. <laughs> I could be wrong. We'll find out in not, the, not the first ten time. more minutes, fifteen. We find Shiner. Oh, Shiner. 
you know, Shiner, Sierra Nevada. Those are, you'll definitely find those in any grocery store. And what are the two German brands? Um, Hot Frog. They're both? The other one. There should be one. Is there, oh, Hot Frog and Shiner are the two German ones. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, Shiner's, Hot Frog is a traditional German style brewery. I don't know if I'd call Shiner that, but they might be. I've never actually, I would love to go see that brewery. It's in Texas. It's supposed to be beautiful. It's supposed this to be like, a, this is really good. It's like a different beer than the first couple beers. I, but I think this is, again, I think this is closer to number one. This is, even though it's flat. It is flat. It is flat. Um, I think it's got a much, makes me think this might be the eight bridges that, that can have some issues. It could be. <laughs> But that's true though. I've been there before and I've actually I think I've power ordered this before during October we've gone there and I usually I order so. Oktoberfest and their Marsons. I think it's good. And I think they make a great Marsons so But it might be really old. good flavor. No? She, she got it literally hand delivered like a week ago. Oh, okay. So that, that's why I was thinking it might be flat. So I like it. The flavor's uh, good. The flavor's there. I gotta just say, I don't think I like it quite as much as number one. It's very but it's close. close. So it's I'm gonna give it a 27. Because I gave number one a 28. I think the flatness is attracting a smidge in the punk though. I agree. I feel like if it wasn't flat, like I probably would give it the same score, but I think you're probably right. It's probably about one point less. Um, <clears throat> I give it one point more. I mean less, yes. Yeah, sometimes. Um, I'm going to try to get it again. Yeah, really it's good. It's a good aftertaste. It's a fine beer. And actually, this is... Um, tongue, I would, which I like. Yeah, you know what? I just, I like the aftertaste from number one just a little bit more. I actually, I give it a 16 little bit more because I just went back and tried to drop the 19. That's just going to go well. Um, so this is the kind of beer that, that I want to cook with. You could make some really oh, good like sausages. Oh, sausages. sausages. Mm -hmm. oh. I agree. Some so, um, bratwurst. Bangers and mash. Yes. Bratwurst. This would be really, really good. I got 88 on this uh, one. Drinkability. It's pretty good for a flat uh, beer. And again, I'm, I don't think it's fair to knock it for the... the well, I didn't knock it up for the taste because of it. It's because I feel like the taste might right. have been better with the actual carbonation. Because the carbonation matters in the initial <laughs> taste, I think. That's probably not um, even here. I knocked it up a little bit from taste to drinkability sense. because it's not a huge sense. fan of the color. It's a, it's okay. It's just not. I want the color. You want clear? No, no. I no, want the it. color's fine. I, just, I want it a little more. See, yeah. I mean, it, this. What do, you call, what do you call this color? Like, I want to call like a bronze. You know what's funny? I was gonna say there's a lot of condensation this has on a whole that lot of one condensation compared, on compared to the other. One. Yeah, no, no, no. So well, no, it's almost exactly the same color. Yeah, that's weird. No, this one's more crystal clear. This one's clearer. Yeah, but look at how much right, but look, yeah, but I gave this. I mean, without the condensation, like I really feel like the one is clear. Look, like the, like, I gave this one a nine on color, and if you take off the condensation, they're very close. They're very, very close. And I done, I dinged this down to a seven, and that's no, like, I, I'm I, gonna I, fix it. I don't I'm give it an eight. I don't agree. I actually just think this one actually has more of that brownish color. I think this one does <clears> to me. Sixteen. I mean, 32. it's your score that you fucking do you with the eight. Someone has to. Somebody does. Ain't that the truth? Eighty-five. 85. That's still the second best score. I mean, it is. You no, know, I, I think it's my it's second good. favorite beer that we've had so it's far. Good. It's good. It's good. I think all these beers are really good, actually. Uh, what's wrong, man? There's like a weird white line above the writing. I don't know what it is. It looks good on the live, right? You're watching it on the yeah, live, right? I'm on the live. I see it. <clears throat> okay, it's probably it's just good. because you're the one doing the live. So it's I might something next to All right, we're going to watch it. Do it. Do it. Cleanse, I guess. Ooh, confirmation hearings. Those should be fun. I can I go forward with that? Mm -hmm. Hashtag COVID. <clears throat> Hashtag we can't do remote sessions until we want to do remote sessions for important things that we want. America. America. By the way, vote. Yeah, vote. If you live in California, you should have gotten your ballots in the mail already. Uh, I would ask not only that you vote, but you actually read some of the stuff before you vote. Doesn't I read. Matter. I went to Ballotpedia for all of the propositions, actually, like all of them. Corey already finished all his votes. Admittedly, I'm a liberal, so I end up signing with the liberal position on most of them, but actually not all of them. There were a couple where um, I went with the one that was actually backed by um, my state of the Republican Party. It's kind of every the party usually backs one side or the other. It's just sort of how it's just how it is. Yeah, you get the you get the flyers in the mail. Like if you register as one party or the other, they send you. Oh, the, the party suggests you vote this way. A couple a couple of those are just confusing. Though. I suggest you vote this way. Propositions are the worst. You know, it they is, never ever make any sense. They're just like, well, because they this put thing. fifty things into one. It, it's and it's funny because the whole purpose of the proposition portion of the way California governs is to allow public participation. That's not what it is. It's corporate participation. Let's just be honest. Every single one of these has huge, big money backers behind it. Giant whether it's backers. whether it's unions or ride sharing companies, or ride -sharing companies 
that was a big one. Spending and that, that the, really oh, the money those two people, those two it's groups, like 90 million unions million versus the rideshare companies, is is ridiculous amount of money to spend on a proposition. I have Same no idea what's going to happen with the rideshare <clears throat> leader. I don't know what's going. I don't even know like what's going to happen. Like I find it very hard to believe that because they have to classify employees a certain way, they'll just like not do service in California. I just find that to be unlikely, which is the doomsday scenario. Um, yes, yeah, so I agree. I, I expect it like, will probably increase some costs, but yes. the truth is that like people need rides, and yes. if people need rides, someone will provide a service to give them rides. We know this because <laughs> taxis exist. Well, the reality uh, situation, yeah, is <laughs> instead of <laughs> instead of getting a five dollar Uber, it may be an eight dollar. I mean, that's just what it is. I'm not sure. That and I agree with you, Tom. They're, they they are very confusing for exactly what Amber said. They're never just one thing. It's, I should say not never. Right, I was reading one of them. Rarely. What was I reading? I was reading like um, I was reading the property tax and inheritance one. Right, and it's just like oh, it does these two things. And I was like, I like those, I like two, those things. two things. But it's like it does these these two things. And I was like, I don't really like those two things. <laughs> so I do. What do I, I like? like, that? I like that. But I think it's a little on the sweet side for me. But I think it's really really, really good side. overall. Again, another one that I, I think it's actually my new favorite I of the batch, honestly. Like um, I actually think it's my new favorite. I was going to say that. I, 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 I don't think I can disagree with you. Well, it's my fault. Because you know. I got the football game on over here, and there was a commercial. What are you going to do? Niners getting their ass kicked. You're not going to get live updates on <laughs> FanDuel. That's the truth. I know, right? FanDuel. Hashtag fix your servers. And I'm going 28 on this because I think it is actually better than number one. Here's my problem. We had 28 on number one. You know, you got to decide if it's better or worse. Or the same. Ooh, wow. Try um, number one again. Yeah, you still have some on number one. I love the aftertaste in this too. The aftertaste okay. in this is. I like the normal. color better in this one, for sure. So I gave it a higher rank. I'm not getting a whole lot of smell out of either of them. Which is funny because number one, you got a ton of smell when it first started. <clears throat> yeah, it might be just. Oh, that's just really good. Number one is just really good. I just did my math on mine and I scored at 105, which uh, I'm pretty sure just means I did the math wrong. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm, I, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give it a 28. So, um, I just want to say this. Um, I gave this a 20 in aftertaste and a 30 in drinkability. I actually think the aftertaste on this is phenomenal. Um, it is exactly what I want the aftertaste to be. It's not harsh. It's kind of sweet. Like it. This, I'm gonna bump it up. This beer is this beer is fucking great. I, I I can't disagree with anything you just said. This is a really 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 good beer. It's got a great aftertaste. The sweetness is not overly sweet. That's what you want from malt. If you want malt flavor, there should be at least a little bit of residual sweetness from it. That's what it's there for. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, five, I got six, 95 eight. on that. I got a 92. That is very close to the highest score I think we've given since I started. I don't think you've ever given a higher you, you still need to go through like the first 20 videos and write down all the scores, but it's. That's fine. fair. That's on oh, me. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just set up the web page, Facebook page, all the other shit. You do write. You do write the reports. I do write the reports. I do, and I can't wait to write tomorrow's because it was. It was. I thought it was a great day. Wednesday's going to be fun too. Yeah, that's right. Don't forget Wednesday. We might be. Right. We're, hopefully, we're going to be live on Wednesday, um, doing a uh, ideally an entire menu tasting of Oakland United's offerings. They've invited us out uh, for a private tour, um, private lunch with them to uh, talk about their beers and hopefully run through the menu. Um, yeah, we love those guys. We are super pumped. Barbecue and Oakland United yep. here. The wives are coming. They actually found gluten-free options. <laughs> they yes. Lives. They are like, yes. these are options. Ciders. It's going to be great, man. We're going to be good time. Uh, hoping we get to go live. Um, or at the very least, we'll record some. Um, I, I, expect, like I expect we'll probably just go live. They'll probably yeah. do it. Um, so I'll probably have to wear a sleeveless shirt because that's my jam. <laughs> I'm saving my, my, my beer-tasting shirt for Wednesday. That's why I didn't wear it today. Uh, that'll probably be roughly 1 p.m. on Wednesday, though. Uh, mm-hmm. 1 or 2. We'll probably get there at, like, I think our plan is to get there at 1. Um, so I'd expect we'll probably we'll eat probably some lunch. We'll bullshit for like a half We'll hour. eat some lunch, and then we'll bullshit. We'll run through the tasting. We'll probably try to live tasting and a little live Q&A with the brewers. So if you have any questions for the brewers over at Oakland United, um, <laughs> shoot them over to us or, you know, even watch the live and ask us. Um, so that'll yeah. probably happen somewhere around 2 on Wednesday. So that's pretty I'm exciting. For one thirty. But Well, I figured we'll eat. We're not going to want to live stream us eating. That's fair. Yeah, so that was kind of. It's not the best thing to yeah. watch. We've done it a few times. I'm not sure it's that impressive. There was the one time I deep throated a hot dog. I was, was gonna say cool. there was that one time where you deep throated a hot dog. That comes up almost dog. every yeah. time. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was for Brett. That was for Brett. And which, by the way, here. I miss you, Brett. He stopped know, watching. Us. I, don't I, don't even know. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're deep throating. Deep throated a hot dog for that man. It wasn't good enough. <laughs> uh, we haven't met him up at a brewery lately either. It's all been closed though. Yeah, but Berkeley's having. 
couple Al- weeks. Well, though. Alameda County should actually, I think, Tuesday. If I don't know, wait, I think they bumped back up. It's really hard to tell because there's two different metrics. But I, this Tuesday, they could open up the 50% capacity in restaurants. Yeah, hopefully, in a couple weeks, we'll go out there. We're going to need eight miles. We'll do the Bay Bridge route. We'll meet up with us, right? We got to do the Bay Bridge route soon. So We do. I, it's been a long time. I know. And by the way, if you're a runner or a biker and you haven't done the Bay Bridge yet, you should it's really nice. do it. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I, I need eight for that. Just for that. And that's actually probably barefootable, too, I think. I agree with you. Smooth. Yeah, no, it is. I, it's, I totally bear for it because I'm not probably bracing sandals and stuff on my Because there's, there's the, as long as the asphalt doesn't get too hot, but you've got that little dirt on the side. You're out there in the morning too. Right. So usually the asphalt. Well, not in that is it shouldn't be getting too hot. Yeah. yeah. Right. It should be pretty good now. Yeah, we try to get more. Early. Actually, you're probably the biggest worry is homeless people in glass. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I was gonna say the the wind might. Well, it's really just glass. I guess homeless people aren't really like a worry. Just they're the most likely people who. Throwing glass, please. It's fair. Well, again, it's fair. Not, not to stereotype, sorry. All right, whatever. We're going to move on. Number six. Which Shane's already figured out. What is <laughs> I don't know what mukbang is. Mukbang? You're going to have to explain that, Tom. I'm not a big fan of this one. It's fine. It's, I... I wouldn't call it anything else but fine. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call it an Oktoberfest. That's a... Uh, it looks like a logger. It's pretty it's fair. It's pretty fair. I'm not sure. Maybe this is the door. It doesn't make it bad. Maybe this is the field work that wasn't actually on field work test. Maybe it's the I don't think so because they said they, they dry hopped export logger. But they, they also said they dry hopped that one. I'm not getting a whole lot of hops out of this. Mm-hmm. But it's, I mean, it's it's fine mm-hmm. for a beer, but not for an Oktoberfest. I think that's pretty fair. <clears throat> okay. Again, I think they're all loggers. <clears throat> and I didn't like the color it's, or the smell anyway, so we go with 20. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not happy with this beer. I feel like that's a beer you would get at a casino or something when you just order a random shelfie, basically. <clears throat> so what you're saying is... is It's just a standard beer. I, I'm just going to say this. It's, 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 it's not an insult. It's a Heineken. It's a good beer. Yes. It's something that's there. I it, drink it. It's got it. decent flavor. I would drink it. Or I would probably got choose it over like a not drink it. it used to be my go-to. I would choose it over a course. Like, 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 kind of like a Stella. Like, right? like Stella's fine. If we oh. my oh. Stella, I'm gonna use some Stella, you know what I mean? It's I he was talking about your topic about people eating food on YouTube. That's what I'm saying. Well that is I've seen that. I've seen that. I wasn't talking about <clears throat> eating food for Amber's show, Tom. I was talking about cooking food. But but we know you talk about not eating food on camera as part of Oakland United. Oh yeah, because it's true. Oh, okay. okay. We had to bring it with Fourteen. Again. That's what we do. Uh, 14, 35, 49, 49, 70. Yeah, this one's not going to do well for me either. We'll see. 13. Yeah, I just scared it's sevens all around. Five, I just didn't like it. You tried it, right? Yeah. yeah. I gave it a 70. Yes, yes. Which is not my best beer. Super close to it. I know, right? Well, but I mean, if you do. Well, we um, got clear. There's clearly two favorites so far. I agree. I think the two favorites are very clear. I think beer number four. I'm actually number very. Four, I think is in the running, but I really think that like numbers one and. Five. five have been clearly the best. I, I'm years. looking. Number seven was my was. This, when is, I this is my hopeful. This, this is my hopeful. Exactly right. This was my one that might go over the top. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink some water. Make sure. Oh, yeah, I should do that too. That's good. So that's my hopeful one. So no, Tom. Seriously, if you're still watching, which I think you are, yeah, if you want to do the show, you just gotta let us know, man. That's right. And Randy, we're gonna now that the weather's turning, we can be able to get some time outside. Yeah, we can go outside. We can do that barrel aged ones outside. We still got to do the uh, wheel of ad junk. Um, Don't forget, run out of other things to beer. Mountain House Beer Mile. Beer, beer Mile, October 31st. October 31st. Be BYOB, <laughs> preferably in a paper bag so no one knows what it is. Yeah. I, I thought that meant bring you a bar bag. Yeah, you might want to do that, too. Do that too. <laughs> I did I did contact the person for the uh, for the timer, so I should probably be able to acquire the big timer. Oh, cool. So hopefully that'll be there. The we clock. can start them. Yeah, the clock. Right, cool. It'll be cool. We'll get a couple people down there, write down names, write down times they come through. It'll be fun. Um, the Dusty Bottoms crew is also doing their virtual beer mile the same day. So if you do want to sign up for the Dusty Bottoms virtual beer mile, um, our beer mile is a valid ex- is a valid experience for that beer it mile. It is, yes, it, it is. A, it is of course, of course, is just slightly over. It's going to be like one point oh four miles, depending on how yeah. much you cut corners. Um, they've also lowered their requirements. You can actually use Coors Light now. They're doing three point five percent. They also wow. banned hard seltzers because. <laughs> yeah, as, I was, as I we was there last year. <laughs> Nobody fucking competes the beer mile with hard seltzer. Okay? I'm not even sure you can compete it with cider. And there were heard people doing that too. And the whole thought of drinking slamming four Way ciders. Way too many bubbles. No, too the many seltzers, bubbles. absolutely. But no, the ciders are. I, I I originally thought about maybe doing a cider because they're less bubbly. 
but they're so, so sweet. sweet. Right, yeah, oh, yeah. God, so, so. yeah, so October 31st, uh, if you are not part of the Mountain House Runners Club group, uh, join it. Um, or just message me. Maybe you don't like to run normally, but the idea of running one whole mile while drinking four beers somehow appeals to you. Um, you know, everyone should try it once because uh, running and not puking is an experience because you literally have to fight it like a little bit. You really do. You really do. And you can't push super hard because you just like you, you can't. You got to fight a little bit. So it, it's, it is. It's going to be fun. The though. willpower part of it, the actual like, mm -hmm. and, and I realize that sounds stupid, but the mental. Oh, yeah. I failed it because I was like, sold it in, sold it in, sold it in. Nope. Didn't work. He did. He did. He bubbled up some foam. ZQ. And that was it. It wasn't even puke. It was just foam. But nope, that don't matter. Sometimes it is If it comes back out, you lose. I've seen some savage pukes of this thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, mine was not bad. No, you're Some of these things were. Yeah. 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 It's fun, though. So you're interested, let us know. I think this is the field for me. The Dortmund, because it's. It's good. I I don't think the taste is as good as the ones we like the best. Like, the taste is actually simply different. It is. It does not have, to me, an Oktoberfest taste. That doesn't mean it's not a good beer. I think that's fair. Because it's I think it's flavor. tasty. It, you get, I get a little bit of hop out of this. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good. So it's um, good, but it isn't an Oktoberfest. It's not so as malty it has though, to, as the other ones for sure. Um, so we got to wait a little more. I'm going to go like 26. Which is unfortunate five. because it's my favorite colored beer. Um, it was my favorite look. I'm going to try it again for the aftertaste drink in a second here. I'm, I'm going to get 26 on taste. I think the taste is actually pretty good. It's just not as Oktoberfest as the other ones. Um, I'd agree with that. But I think it's good. It's good I think I might go more. You're probably right. This is probably the export lager. Yeah, I'm going to go 25. Because I do like it. it. It's got a great flavor. And I would rate it higher if it was a different style. And I actually do like the aftertaste. But again, 47, 54, 64. <clears throat> actually, I got the 90. I rate it so well on appearance. So it actually ties beer number one, which I don't think is unfair. But mm. I didn't like the way beer number one looked. That's what lost two points during. That's true. The, the appearance on beer number one did hurt. Wait, my score has a way home. Let me remap this. 10, 19, 25, 45, 52, 62. Oh, it's 88. It's 88. It's 88. Mm -hmm. 60, 60. Math is so hard. I gave it an 84. 88, 88. Which is a good score. It's a fine score. Math is hard. You know, 1, 2, 5, 20. Uh, assistant producer ever or associate producer ever or producer ever was not a fan of this beer. She had the look. She was like, <laughs> uh, for what it's worth. She also really enjoyed it. Uh, I believe you think the you think this one is the best one too, right? I like four and five. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, one more beer to go, guys, and then we're going to do the reveal. And then tell you again about all of our future happenings. Yes. Uh, tastings for next Sunday, which uh, admittedly we don't know what it's going to be yet, so that's not going to be a great story. Is it not going to be Dunlow? Since we just got the Dunlow beer, it's fresh. The only thing we can Dunlow blind would just be doing like all of their sours. We could do like four, because we picked up like four of their sours. I'd rather just do like, I think maybe, well, let's, let's finish this beer and then we'll discuss it. Yeah. Because I think maybe we'll do a double IPA testing so we can get the Dunlow into the double IPA testing. So I expect we'll walk That would make a lot of sense. expect we'll walk with Mocha United into double IPA this week. I too. So that gives us two right away. We can pick up a couple. We almost assuredly have some recently fresh double IPAs in the fridge. Yeah. Pretty positive, I, actually. Well, I just, we just picked up a bunch. Yeah. So, yeah, we picked up. I got you some from Fieldwork. Yeah. They had a double IPA and a single in there. There was a double in uh, the three mile one. Yeah, I up, I believe. Three mile Plus, one basically, I can pick up a I can pick up a double in yeah, Altamont, like, between whatever. Altamont, Eight Bridges, Shadow Puppet, or Morgan. Mm -hmm. I was just saying Morgan. <coughs> so and yeah, you know so what? We'll just do doubles. We'll do doubles next week. We'll just do like four doubles. We'll just we'll keep it. You light. know what though? Rather than those two, maybe I'll try to hit the other two. The two new. Yeah, try to hit the new ones. Homegrown, homegrown, homegrown and, and Rivers End. Ops and Rivers End. Rivers End. So yeah, we'll try for a double IPA case next week, just so we can get this Dunlow in. Because um, we're really, really excited about trying some more Dunlow. I agree. Um, and obviously, we're <clears throat> super pumped about trying some more Dunlow United beer because we put them in two blind taste tests so far, and I'm they pretty won. sure they won both. So yes, that's pretty good. So Pilsners and Black Lagers. I don't think we blind taste tested their um, IPA yet. I'm pretty sure I don't they won Pilsner. So I'm pretty sure. But you're right. We should pick up a double. All right, last beer. Last beer. I'm not a huge fan. I haven't tasted it yet. It's Get, get in my head about it, why don't you? I'm not a huge fan. Um, Amber's fond of saying sometimes when a beer has a, a taste she doesn't like that it's soapy. Mm -hmm. This one tastes soapy. I hate that. 
it's got it, like it's floral the hand aftertaste scent. is not I'm not a huge huge fan of this one. <clears throat> um, I think it's damn it. I mean, I think you're probably right. It's mal not really malty. Uh -uh. It's not very light. It's very light. Nice it, it, it's it's actually my least favorite on aftertaste by far, like by far. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a twelve on aftertaste. Oh, it is not. It. It is not. No, that. There's something in that aftertaste that I'm just, I'm just oh, see, you get the soapy, right? It, it, and again, it huh? It's to give you guys a recap. Here's what the, uh, the wife's taste looked like. <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> this should be good. It did not. No, I, I thought it was, I thought it was more like this. I thought it was more like, I thought it was more like. Yeah. So, so no, 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 no. No fat lip. There actually, was no, no patty. No patty it was no, I didn't see any patty yeah, lips. No, no, it was more of a squinch of the nose. Because basically, you're like trying to shut off everything that gives you senses uh, because you don't want to taste okay. it anymore. So, so my and I'm killing it here so far. It's not six. awful. So terrible. Let me retry. Let me retry six. I think we're comparing this beer against six. All right, on my scores. Well, my least favorite beer has been three, so I think I'm comparing it to three. Would you have sex? No, six to your least. Six. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. You're right, right, you're right. Which is the other lighter one, oddly enough. Those no, are six is not great. Six is not great. But I think, but the difference is, I think, I don't six just tastes like a lager. Like, right, right. Like, the six is a lager. The or problem is, like, this I'd actually drink, not as an Oktoberfest. I don't know if I want to drink this. I think they're really close. <clears throat> No, I prefer I think that. The aftertaste is actually this is, worse. It's not even lager. This is this is much more like a pilsner. This is much more like a pilsner. So, yeah, I, I, unfortunately, I'm going to kill this one, and I apologize. Look, I would love to say that we're like those kind of guys who would never rate something bad, but the truth is, we're trying to give you our honest, actual ratings when we run taste tests. These, um, if you've watched several of these shows, you know that some of our favorite breweries <laughs> that we've hyped up Altamont. Hen House, uh, we give them their beers bad ratings sometimes. Some yes. days we just do not like certain beers. It's not really, it's, I said, I try like one more score still, but um, we're basically, I'm done. Um, let me write this, I'll write down. But, um, yeah, but, and I agree with that. Like, look, we don't have to, it's not wrong. You can go to a restaurant and love most of their food and just not like one dish. You can go to a brewery and like most of their beer and just not like one yeah, of their offers. It's not, okay. just so we're close. So it's not, if we rate a beer badly, it's not that we necessarily, uh, one, two, one, it's not necessarily that we believe the beer to be a bad beer. Um, 64. We're, much of the time, we are rating these beers effectively on a curve um, based on what we have in front of us. So I made up that we really like this golden red. Oh, nice. Really? I, I'll be honest with you. That's that's a bit of a surprise, surprise to me. So, as I was saying, so <clears throat> our goal is um, when we rate the beers, oh, when we rate the beers, um, we do kind of rate it on a curve. Um, I don't think any of these are necessarily bad beers. Uh, none of these I think are comfortable. All these beers will, in fact, be finished. I think they're all fine beers. Um, certain beers we are just more likely to want to order again. I Is this Sierra Nevada that we chilled? Yes. Wow. Um, yeah, it was. Actually, yeah, it was. So, so that's the deal. Like, if you're watching the show in your brewery and uh, we rate your beer bad, I'm sorry. There's a good chance we've rated your beers previously and we loved them. Um, just hey, look, to that sometimes right. certain styles just don't work, especially if I, when if I go to Safeway and pick up a six pack of beer. Hazy little thing? No. Really, really good yeah. beer. There isn't a single brewery here in front of us that I wouldn't pick up a four pack of. I, I mean, agree. The truth, the truth I is, I have four I, and six actually the one, the one I would pass more than any it's of probably them. Probably the Golden Road. Golden Road. Road. Yeah. It is, but it it has done very, very yeah, well. It's our the Hofbrau's on um, the Hofbrau's a German import, which is nice. Um, they make a nice half, if I recall. Yes. Hofbrau House make or Hofbrau um, makes great German style beers. Their half is yeah. wonderful. Their Weiss is wonderful. They make really, really good. So, All right, so let's run it through here. Uh, score wise, just uh, to give us your tops. Um, my top beer was number five. Also number five. So Golden Rose was number Road. five. We're going to talk about each beer in sequence in a second here. Um, my second beer is actually a tie between numbers. Oh no, it's not. My second beer is number one. My second beer is also number one, which is Fieldwork, which is the Fieldwork Fest. And then my third place, I have a tie between beers number seven and four. Uh, I jump to number. Four. Four. Altamont and Bridges. So Altamont and Bridges. I, I Altamont got one point low. So that was your next one. And then my next score after that is going to be number three. Fieldwork. Which is the uh, that's the, the their export lager. It's not actually it's the one beer out here that doesn't say it's an Oktoberfest. Well, this might actually call itself a Marzen. 
Um, but it's margins, not code. It's just I'm actually not sure what a Dortmunder export logger actually is, frankly. So, um, and then after that, my least favorite two beers were number six and two, um, which I feel a little bit bad about, admittedly, because number six is this half brown, which is the um, not number eight. No, number eight. No, number eight. No, I think you're right. Eight, I give eight a six to nine. I'm sorry, you're right. Eight. Sorry, eight and six. Eight and six. I'm sorry. Yeah, eight. So eight was my least favorite, and right. then six. So Sierra Nevada, and then um, Hoffra. So, uh, so Shane, why don't you uh, start over there on the left? All right, here we go. We start with number one. Your number one, which for me got a ninety. I also gave it a also 90. ninety, which is your field work fest, Oktoberfest lager, lager brewed with barley, hops, water, yeast. Which is, if you're going to follow traditional. Oh, I can't remember now. It's totally like literally every beer has those no, things. No, 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 no. But it's but it's there's a I can't remember the name of the word. There's a German word that's Joyce. basically if you do if you put anything other than those three th four things in it, you can't call it. A, it can't be labeled this way. So if you add rice, if you add chocolate, if you add anything to the beer other than those four ingredients, you're not a true German style beer. Uh, let's see. Not a whole lot of info. He's got the knowledge, guys. <clears throat> it actually has that information on the back of the Hofbrau, I believe. I think it's on the back of the Hofbrau. Okay. Right. So, All right, so, so this is at 5.8. Not a whole lot on it, but you know, this is one of my least favorite fieldwork can arts. Sure. They tend to do a lot better art, but I think it's because Super it's fun. kind of a traditional German beer fest. Type artwork. So. Okay, so field work brewing. Uh, we've been to like almost all of them. <laughs> almost. Um, actually, might be all of them now. I think I might have been to all of them by now. Uh, no, I haven't. I've never been to Berkeley. Berkeley. Which is funny. So yeah. because I've been to Berkeley. Berkeley. So field work started in Berkeley. It's a Berkeley based brewery. So um, they have expanded out. Um, they have got locations in Napa, inside of um, that little shopping center right, right. in downtown. Yeah. We've got a location in San Ramon, mm -hmm. uh, which is a nice location with a really nice outdoor section. And a taco place next door that gives you literally the best $7 taco you're ever going to have in your life. Okay, he's wrong because I was talking about, um, it's, uh, didn't I say, San, did I say San Ramon? You did. Oh, he's right. San Ramon has a really good taco place next door. A uh, great outdoor section. You're right. Taco Sorry. is that Sorry. fucking big. I meant to say San great. Mateo. San Mateo. Uh, San Mateo also has a nice outdoor section. There's a theme here There's with field work. Though, right? There's a theme with field work. Uh, it's reasonably big. It's probably bigger than the San Ramon one, actually. We've been there one time. It was on our way to Half Moon Bay, I think. Oh, I'm thinking of the one that we hit on the way back where Denise sat in the car. That was a bear ball stuff. That was a bear ball stuff. Uh, so the spot in San, San Mateo is really nice. Um, you can order from a bunch of spots um, nearby for food. Same thing with field work. There are spots um, in Santa Rosa, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, they also have one in uh, Mont no, Monterey. No. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. It's in Monterey. Monterey. It's in it's the in downtown Monterey. area of Monterey. No, it's in the downtown. Where yeah, no, it was, downtown it was area of Monterey. The, it was the, with the. With the one shipping container. Yeah, the shipping container. It's right near yeah. our hotel. Um, so that's a really nice spot. Which also, I really love that spot. Yeah. Also mm -hmm. all outdoors. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, and then the last spot is the one in Sacramento. Um, Sacramento, which has an outdoor space. And I think they're actually expanding. So they it might did be expand. bigger now. Well, they haven't expanded by the time we got there. Because that left side, they were walking through it, but there weren't seats there yet. Because you couldn't see. No, there was that one huge party mm -hmm. over there. And there Shane really? liked uh, the shirt on the one girl. Maybe you're right. It's like a rock shirt. Apparently, Shane was fucking eyeballing some chick, and my wife remembers. Okay. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. shirt. Um, so the Sacramento spot's located downtown. I will tell you the Sacramento spot is located next to probably my favorite spot to eat in Mexican Sacramento. Um, it's a Mexican restaurant. It's called Zocalo. Um, Zocalo. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, they're they, they, they have No, really because, yeah, the mom was wearing a Def Leppard Hysteria. Yeah, there was an OG Hysteria shirt yeah. next door. Yes, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, there was. I wasn't scoping the mom. But the indoor the wasn't open yet. But we went there during COVID. So the indoor yes. may not have been open because the indoor, like, the wasn't open. <laughs> Zocalo, great food. So close, great food. That's downtown Sac. So basically, filled up. We got Berkeley, Napa, Sacramento, San Mateo, San Ramon. I think that's and Monterey. Monterey. So six mm -hmm. options for your for your field working. Uh, if you want cans of field work, I will tell you now. Some of their premiums. There are lines. They sell you got to pre-order them. You got to wait in line. You got to get them. Um, it's not the fastest. Um, yeah. But it's pretty well organized. Yeah. Uh, the San Ramon location is located literally a block off the um, Iron Horse Trail. Mm -hmm. So if you're a runner or a biker or just a person who likes to walk along like nice paved trails, mm -hmm. um, you can absolutely do a nice walk to field work, then walk back somewhere else. Oh, yeah. And they have a ton of parking park right, right yeah. farmers market near there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. So we love I, I really like field work, generally speaking. I think the kettle sours are probably among the first kettle sours I enjoy. 
Their yes. beers are good. Every one of their locations has a very similar feel, which is open, There's light. The parfaits. Uh, the parfaits, yes. Yeah. So the parfaits, yes. I have not been to a field work location that I didn't look at and go, wow, this is just really beautiful. comfortable. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It's, so love the field work locations. Absolutely. That's all I got. That's all, I got, That's all we got. Number two. That was a lot. Number one. Beer number two. Shiner. Shiner is, again, it, this one's called the Meritson Style Beer Oktoberfest. And it says Spetzel Brewery, which is in Shiner, Texas. I definitely want to go visit that place. Let's see. Every September, so most of people September from around Texas. the world gather in Munich. We will be there one oh, of these yeah. years. One of these years, we're going to goddamn Oktoberfest. To celebrate Oktoberfest. We're going in Germany, probably. No, no, we go. Yeah, we got Austria. We've got to go to we're going, Munich. We're going to Alex's thing. We're going to do two. We're going to do the main one in Austria. And we're going to go chill with Alex and do the one near Alex. In I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, with a name like that, you'd have to we're think going. it'd start a month later. But hey, it doesn't. Oktoberfest starts in September, September, which is strange, but it's tradition. And if you can't be there in person, you can be there in spirit with this classic brew made from Munich and caramel malts along with German grown. Aller Tower Tradition, which is the hops, and oh wow, Hearns Brucher hops. Now fill your Stein, ready, I'm spy, dry. And then okay. you're supposed to wow. pound this shit out of it. Okay, great. So Shiner Brewing. I, uh, I've never been there. It's in Texas, and I haven't been to Texas since. It's supposed uh, to be like an old, like mission style wedding. church type building. It's supposed to be absolutely beautiful. I definitely want to go. I, there's one problem. I, I'll go. I'll go. I'm down. It's in Texas. I'm That's the problem. problem. Um, I have to go to I've been in Texas like one time as an adult. Admittedly, it was for a wedding. We went to uh, Corpus Christi, I believe. That's where uh, AM is, right? Yes, Corpus Christi is Texas. Corpus Christi, um, and honestly, at that point, we were not doing our best to find breweries Christmas. when we went. Yes. Um, if we had been at that point, we probably would have hit a few breweries in the area, but we weren't really we into weren't. beer yet. It was like a year or two before I decided I liked beer. Um, so I've never been there. I, I would love to go. I think a trip to Texas is probably pretty doable for us. It's not. And we're going to do it those in a different I'm going to do like San Antonio. You know, I'm going to do Rock. Austin. Austin, I could understand maybe, but what's really there other than like businesses? I don't know. Yeah, it's I've been. It's the most liberal area of Texas. Yeah, but <laughs> there's a river walk. Austin has oh, a river walk and a river cruise. They have like a river Austin cruise. Has a river walk? Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. I know San Antonio does. I did not know Austin. Beer number three. Tom wants to go to Oktoberfest. Who? Tom would like to go. Tom wants to go. Yeah, Tom, you can roll with us. Once again, Field Field Works, the second Field Works beer. This one, they but they call them Dortmunder Export Lager, as we explained. I'm not really sure that is an Oktoberfest. Five point nine percent. Again, kind of soft on the the. It wasn't color wise. It was not. Well, actually, it's just beer. Right. It's it's beer number three. Yeah. It was. It was. It was actually. I mean, it ranked okay. It wasn't. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. I get it like second worst, like Field Works. I get it was 78. Third worst. Third worst. No, third worst. Yeah, third worst. So, what was I get? Number six. I killed poor number six. Okay, so Fieldwork has six low. No, I'm kidding. Where did you do that? <laughs> Where did you do that? that? Okay, so Eight Bridges, which is the Bruno Marzen. Get it? Funny. Like it. I'm a big I'm a big fan of the puns of beer. I love puns. Way, They're very punny. Way, way, way more fun. Uh, just really good beer. Drink local, drink fresh. So I will also tell you that Eight Bridges has a, a, a unique thing. I'm not sure they're still doing it, but I think they are. You There's can actually you can invest. Oh, I will. Okay. You can invest in them to help them open additional oh, yeah. locations. So um, if you are a big fan of, of microbrews and maybe want to be part of a shareholder type situation, they're a good opportunity. This says, uh, let's see, our fest beer. This amber lager is malty with a touch of hops. I'd agree with that. The aroma is of lightly toasted malts and smells similar to fresh baked bread. Actually, yeah. I think the flavor is crisp with a slight fuller body than our Pilsner, and I would agree with all of that. Uh, plus, it's got a picture of Bruno Mars in an Eight Bridges uh, uh, jersey. Kind of cool. Although, I don't think Bruno Mars wears a baseball cap. So, I mean, if you're going to do the Bruno Mars thing, don't you have to do the fedora style or whatever? I don't know what kind of cat he wears. All right, so let's talk about Eight Bridges. Eight Bridges is located nearby over in Livermore, California. Uh, they have one location. Um, the actual inside is reasonably spacious. It's kind of a uh, business park area. They don't really they do did. outdoor except for right now. They did just advertise about it. They just opened their new beer garden. Um, and we have not been there since they've done that. So I honestly cannot tell you how good the outdoor section is. I expect it probably takes over a good portion of the, the, I guess the front parking lot. Front parking lot. Yeah. Um, but that is a brand new thing. They just added yes. that. Uh, we personally have been there quite a few times. Yes. It's probably the brewery we've been to 
second most in Livermore personally. Uh, Shane's been to Ultima like nine million way, times. Way, way more uh, times than I should. I've probably been to times. Shadow Puppet more times than Eight Bridges, but I've only been to Ultima like three times or four times. I, I, I would go to Ultima so, three times in a week. Uh, location's good. nice. They do a uh, chili cook-off um, every year, except for this year, um, which my wife usually manages to play second in. Um, I'll get first. You know, always One a, year, uh, you will tell me. Always a bridesmaid. Um, I can tell you that they make some pretty good beers. Their triples got a nice flavor to it, typically. Mm-hmm. Uh, we tested that in our triple tasting. The Browns were really uh, good. Next year, you guys will get to see us do a live beer splitting on triples. I warn you now, we'll probably have like eight of them. And by the beer, we will be fucking fading. Yeah. We faded did, is his word. Shit faced is mine. We did the triple tasting on, we did a triple tasting actually earlier this year. We did. We did like four. Of them. Before we were doing live. Yeah, we no, did. We, no, we lived them. But we you guys, we lived them like four. But you guys drank the entire can each. Yeah, we you did. You guys were not splitting the can. Yeah, we did. Time. That's so, right. Uh, it's it's makes good. I forgot I, that part. <laughs> I, I tend to like. I actually tend to like their their um, Octoberfest and their Mars. I, I like their the the ones that I like the best there. Mars and their hoppier. They actually like, have a red IPA they just recently came out with. But that's on the maltier side. It is. Yeah. It is so good. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think Apron just makes really good beer. The people are super friendly. Uh, they're. They're um, really nice. Like I said, we uh, we actually got a, a delivery from them for a couple of beers. Um, so that was pretty awesome. Um, we gave this beer an 88. Uh, the truth is, I think that... Um, I gave it an 85, which is well, a I very, very good score. Well, I think that the issue here... I honestly believe this beer probably would have been a 90 out of me if the carbonation had Carb- I agree. Um, I, can t- I, I touched the can prior to us using it for this tasting, mm-hmm. and you could tell it felt flimsy. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you can even see there's some like yeah. damage to it that might have so affected it. So I, I think that's probably affected the carbonation of that. Um, I do believe that had we got it nice and carbonated, it would have probably cracked um, right around the same ranking as the um, as around the filler. It was, it's very close now, anyway. And that was a that was flat. Andrew right. says we should be drinking the entire can every show. There's eight beers, eight Andrew. Beers, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> you can fly from Chicago, drink eight beers, and we'll see if you can walk out the front door. Eight but beers. anyways, we really did when we first started the show. We really did drink we the were. entire can. Oh, and you match. We were, and yeah. He, I think he matches because I don't know. So yeah, orange and orange. It's the dolphins. Repping the dolphins. I'm repping the dolphins today. Which, who are, by the way, I have killing the living the fucking shit out of the 49ers. Yes, he it's, says it's he doesn't care. Very, very, very depressing. He literally says doesn't care. Yes, I don't care. <laughs> hey, Andrew, I'm just saying, you want to do the beer trip? We could do some more Chicago beers. That's we'll true. Shit. That's true. Let us know. All right, That's we're going to move on to beer number four. Shane, five. you're still reading. Beer number five. <laughs> five which we, we don't let oh, me. <laughs> he didn't care about the eight beers. He says you should entertain the people. That's fair. Uh, so we, just for those who are not yet yeah. picking up this, we let Shane read all the beers because I talk entirely too fast most of the time. Um, so we want people to be able to understand the words that are coming out of uh, Shane's mouth. Okay. So what do I do? I squirrel? You do if you're in the middle of reading. Oh, I do, do squirrel. He does tend to squirrel. It's true. Uh, so, beer number, beer number, there's Fuck. an important part of this that I didn't note until seeing the can. This is a collaborative. Beer. Ooh, I like collabs. Golden Road and Schott, which Spot is a is traditional, something else traditional German it's style. Yeah, Shiner. Shiner, on the front. That little white. Right here, right here. Circle. No, it's a Spetzel. Oh, dear me. Okay. No. Okay, Spaten is a, is, a, is, a, is a brewer. It's a beer. They make, you'd like their half. They make great Pilsners. So it explains a lot for me as to why this might have been our favorite beer because they are a traditional German style brewery. All it says is Oktoberfest beer, limited edition. You like Nothing else on the can. This was our favorite beer of the day. By far, uh, by actually. By far. Yeah, it's uh, absolutely it's our favorite beer. Great. Um, just so you know, it's made in a facility that processes wheat, which if you have a gluten allergy, could be a problem. But it also contains malt, which is technically wheat. So, uh, But okay. that explains a lot. You see that right there. Yeah, sure. So, all right, so let's talk. There's not a whole lot of text on here. It's just a bunch of garbage about, uh, you know, the ingredients. There's not a whole lot. Um, so let's talk about Golden Road Brewing. Um, first of all, full disclosure, Golden Road Brewing is, in fact, an Anheuser. It um, is. It's an AB InBev brewer. AB InBev. Um, they were an independent brewer for um, quite some time. Yes. Um, and then they were picked up by AB and Uh Location wise, they have a location in Sacramento in the right. downtown area. Yes. Um, you can walk to it from the Fieldwork location, as you can. mentioned. It's basically um, several shipping containers. It's brightly colored. It's got a bunch of games. Um, it's a really, really nice facility. It's outdoors. It's got a beautiful fire I think pit. I've been there because I think you just get to walk. By yeah. They, um, it kind of caught on fire once. The food over there. So um, they had to kind of redo it, and uh, it's a really, really nice facility, though. So if you're in the Sacramento area, you can go there. Um, their primary location is located in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. 
Um, we have not gone there yet because we opted to go to Monkish as our stand, as our LA trip um, on our last time we drove through LA. We went to Monkish. Monkish. Yeah, well, Monkish is just Monkish. Um, generally speaking, though, their beer tends to be pretty decent. It's widely available given it's an AB and Bev beer. Um, they've got uh, several solid options. I believe that they're more they really good lagers. Uh, but I mango cards. Uh, mango cards. Mango cards. Mango cards. Right? Yes, that's, that's, that's the their big one. one. Yep, yep, yep. So they're good. They're good. Go to the Sacramento location if you're in the Sacramento area. That's my recommendation. It's and good. And you can also just go to um, Total Wine and you'll find yeah. a good selection yeah, for them. Fully distributed. They are fully distributed. Also, the can's cool. I, it's actually a pretty cool can. I, I agree. Like can. It's not repetitive either. No, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, it's not like a repeat. It's, it's a bunch cool. of doodles all over the can. It's pretty cool. I agree with you. And why don't you show the people what you're eating? Because it looks like... I, I will say this. It looks less appetizing than I guarantee. That's right. So the wife made shepherd's pie. It looks like that. Um, it's basically just like a ground beef stew with mashed potatoes cooked over the top of it. Um, so uh, we're going to look forward to that. We're going to eat that. Which is typically we try to eat before we drink eight beers because turns out that helps not getting drunk. It does. Um, on it's the other hand, I ran five miles and then um, I, ate chips and salsa. I had some chips and salsa. I had some chips and salsa too to make sure I had some food in me. <laughs> And I had, I had some right. amber. I had some amber sauce. That's it. That's it. I was using the uh, the uh, the crazy green goat from yesterday we picked up. But uh, all right, sorry, random side. Good salsa. All right, so like like she said, squirrel. So uh, Hofbrau Oktoberfest beer. So and this one, this is what I'm talking about. It says right on it, Munich specialty, brewed according to the German purity law, which is if you add anything other than barley, first of all. There shouldn't, be a thing, there shouldn't be a thing called the German purity law. Not that, that, is, kind of purity. that is not a thing that should exist. <laughs> not that kind of Just so we're clear. Not that, kind of that is terrible naming. I, well, it was that was the name before. Terrible before, naming. Before 1940. Terrible That's naming. It. All right. So, so the Oktoberfest originated in 1810 in Munich, Germany. As a wedding celebration for the crown prince Ludwig. Of Bavaria. This product was created especially for the event and is brewed usually for the Oktoberfest, now the largest beer festival in the world. We're going to go, goddammit. We're going to go. Hofbrau Nuchen is one of the selected group of breweries granted the privileges of supplying Oktoberfest with their products. Using the highest quality ingredients, HB's Oktoberfest specialty has its own distinctive and unique taste. Also, we hated it. We didn't like it. I gotta be yeah. honest, I didn't like it. I mean, hated sure it's probably why. a little strong, but yeah, I was expecting oh, to like it more. I, I would have, I would have, if if you were to show me this lineup at the beginning, Ooh. that would have been the one I would have bet. Oh man, if I line this up at the beginning, wow. So if I line this up at the beginning, this is an interesting thought experiment, actually. I expect <laughs> that I probably would have said, I oh. probably would have rated this in the top two, probably. I would have too. I might have even rated Sierra in the top three or four. I would have expected Sierra to be in the top half for sure. I agree. I probably would have rated Golden Road in the bottom half. Just I agree with it. Just because like the ABM Bev bot sort of tarnished the reputation to yes. some small extent. Yes. Um, I, I probably would have rated a Bridges okay just because I've had the Mars in before. Right. The field work sort of been kind of a toss up because it's just like sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not. No, no. Uh, Shiner. Shiner might have rated low because we had a Shiner during the pumpkin week too, and we didn't like it. I would have rated it a little higher because right. that's their thing. The, the pumpkin like the is pumpkin different, either. but but Shiner's Bach, they they make traditional German style right. beer. So I would I probably would have gone in the top four. I would have gone with one of these three. We should do that. Sure. We should do that. You know, next week if the double high beers, we're just gonna rate them just off name quality and then tell you how we ended up on the scoring. It'll be fun. And so Andrew Golden Road was our winner today. Golden Roads collab, so you should be able to pick it up because I don't. I don't gotta imagine it? because it's AB and Bev that you can get it in right. Chicago. It, it wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. It's so. I just finished. My, really I just finished my can of actually. It's so good. I just. You finished the whole can? No, I haven't done a can. Right. I, yeah, because no, no, it was a little can. Yeah. There are literally four more cans out of the fridge. It's fine. We'll just for that. We'll just for that. It's not a big deal. All right, number seven, Altamont's Oktoberfest. They produce the same beer every year. Um, effectively, Altamont. They do this Oktoberfest every single year. Yeah, and it basically says their take. On a traditional fest beer, lager using all German ingredients. This lager has a deep golden amber color, which it does. That's fair. I actually like the color a lot. It's full-bodied yet smooth. 
and has a touch of hops for pounds. Raise the can to celebrate fest season. I'm Prost! Not sure, I'm not sure I got a ton of hops out of it. Well, I mean, you know, compared to their normal beers, that's probably true. I will I say, though... I do like the label-ish. I mean, you know, it's kind, this of, song. It's kind of Oktoberfest. This was the beer that looked the best. This beer I looked agree. the part. Mm-hmm. And it smelled the part. Like, I agree with that. 100. Like, 100%. It's, it's good. It looked like the way it should look. So, um... All right, Altima, we've talked about before on the show. It's located over in Livermore. They are known for their IPAs. Um, they're also known for naming all their stuff after weed. They are. Um, they're, uh, yes. Their actual tanks, their actual fermenters are literally named Cheech and Chong. There's a couple. There's Cheech, there's Chong, there's yeah. a bunch. There's, there's a yes. few other ones, too. Those are their first two, they're, I think, their primary. Yes, right? Cheech and Chong were their first primary. Um, they're pretty big now. They started real small. They were in, like, literally like a fucking shack. Um, it was not. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was damn near. It was like, it was, it was like probably, nine people. <laughs> Yeah, there were probably, if you didn't stand at the bar, there were probably 10 total seats yeah. in the joint before they expanded. So they expanded them now, and now it's like a full-on bar with a nice back section, a full bar and curb, um, a whole bunch of seats. Probably seats 60 or 70 now. If you um, don't count the back section, yeah. Hopefully they're going to add food. I don't think they are. I'm not sure. Food I, truck I, I, I talked to them. Yeah. They do food trucks on the regular. I've talked to them. I, mean, I guess we don't need food. Why have food? It's just an extra expense, right? People yeah, are coming yeah, to drink your beer. It's like more than just trucks. an extra expense. Yeah, there's also That's liabilities, true. insurance, and it's a whole other um, permits issue. and all that. So we drink a lot they of have Altamont. The permits, it's actually permit here. They're local, so we drink a fair amount of Altamont. I love Mason Altamont. Uh, yeah. Shane's like a member of Altamont. His name's on the wall and shit. It's not on the wall because they don't have names on the wall, but I am a 20 club member. So see, so here's the deal. You walk in and you order a beer. Right? Corey, you want a pint of beer? Yes. Corey's going to get a pint, and Shane's going to get a pint. Corey's going to get 16 ounces. Shane's going to get 20 for the same price. So actually, Corey's going to get a pint, Shane's going to get a pint and a quarter. That's correct. For, for those of you who are For the same off. price. For the same amount of money. So, you know, hey, if you go often enough, the membership fee... Get, how do you get... You, you The membership fee, I don't... I like like 100, 100 a year or something. Like I don't remember. But then they also, also do some special guests. Guests. I went to... I went to, I went to I went to like last year's Oktoberfest, I think, with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're especially there. So they do, and, and that place also is big enough in the back. They do like concerts. They do reggae bands kind of on a regular basis. It, I mean, it's a pretty cool vibe. I love those guys. I think it's um, a good beer. You know, they make good beer. The people are all really good. I love everybody at Altamont. I'm hoping to see them all again in person again one day. Do we, do we actually think we're ever going to get to see people again one day? Like, actual people? Well, we were out yesterday. We saw we people saw in people. Davis. Yeah, but we all had masks on, and, you know, we had the social distance. Oh, it's going to be, like, two years at least. You think? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm a little worried about the whole masking situation. I don't even know. Uh, so Last. that's awesome. I mean, you know, it's good. I think they make great beer. I think their IPAs are typically better than their non-IPAs. But I this Oktoberfest, we rated very well, but we gave it an 88, which tied it for third on mine. <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, they uh, made it third for Shane, I think. No, so let's see. Wait, no, I got 85. 92, you got a 90. 90. 92, 90, 85, 84. Oh, it's 84. Yeah, it was yeah, one yeah, point four, yeah. Last, and unfortunately, apparently, not great. Uh, yeah, I, this is my worst scored beer of the day, which admittedly shocks me. I'm shocks not me, too. Shocks me, too. Because, first of all, Sierra Nevada, on the West Coast. They're an OG. Sierra Nevada, on the East Coast, Dogfish Head. These are like the giants of microbrewery. They've been around for 40 something years. They make good beer. And they really treat their community great. I'm never going to turn on a Sierra Nevada four pack. I know. Six pack. I think if you pick up a Sierra Nevada six pack, it's a good six pack. It's a, drink it. it's and nice. just about everything they make the tornado's good. The, the hazy's good. Oh, they have a pale really ale nice is stout. good. Really nice stout. The stout is oh, good. The, is so good. Be oh. careful for the, for the, what is it, the, the, the barley wine. I should kick your ass. Oh, yeah, it's really good. I mean, they make really good beers. Just apparently not this one. So, you know. <sighs> you know, it's oh, weird. It this is one of those beers, I mean, it's good. I think it's a fine, it's fine. I, I didn't like it, though. I really didn't like no, it. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have had another glass of this. Our fest We're beers are refreshing. Oh, the beers, biggest party. I mean, I have former model. Toasty there. malts and German hops yield notes of fresh bread and floral, fruity character for a balanced, crisp lager that makes any moment festive. So I think that's important. They say a fruity, crisp lager, and I, and I, Which I is don't not get that. What an October fest I just don't be in my mind. mind. Right. You know, it should it, it should have some fruitiness because it's from the 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 malt, but I don't I don't get that. I get more pilsner than lager. Yeah, it's I, just I, disappointing. That's yeah, all. I, I mean, so, okay, so let's talk about Sierra Nevada. As she mentioned, it's a, a local-ish brewery uh, started over in, uh, where is it? Butte County. 
Yeah, kind of Chico, like, California. I was going to say Chico, like over here. Chico. It is in Chico. Um, they do have they some tap have... rooms. They have a tap room in Berkeley. I have been to that's the torpedo room. Torpedo room. I've been to that spot. That is the only Sierra Nevada um, facility I've been to. They've also got a brewery facility in North Carolina. It's fun, funny story about the torpedo room. One time I had to tell someone to delete a text there. <clears throat> that is true. Do not tell that story. Fun story. That's it. That's we the whole fucking story. We won't add to it, but it was. <laughs> I was standing there, and <laughs> yes, no, no, don't tell the story. No, that wasn't there. Oh, yes, was it there. was. We were there. One hundred percent there. Three of us were there. Four of us were there. Who's the fourth? Jackie. Oh, Jackie. That's right. Jackie. <laughs> so, so yeah. All right. So, whatever. Well, that story is funny, but I can't tell it. Sorry, you guys. Which should let you know how funny it really is. So that's going to do it, I think, for our Oktoberfest tastings. Um, like I said, please make sure you go out and visit your local breweries wherever you're watching this. Uh, local breweries need your help, especially now during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, their you tap can. rooms are closed. If you can go in and pick up a four pack or even order yep. a four pack, hey, do it. Pick up some beer to go. Most you know, I, I actually thought the, the uh, food work was really cool because they had a drive up. Yeah, drive up. So you can pick up your beer and your food to go. Uh, but yeah, no, support your local breweries. You know, they're, everybody, small businesses are struggling right now. So, you know, if you go to Safeway or you go to the, the Bedlow or something, you can pick up a six pack. Pick up a six pack of something yeah, small. Yeah, if you got a beer near you, maybe just pick up a six pack from those guys. That's true. Better. Or four pack. Four pack. Or four pack. So uh, let's talk about the future. So uh, next weekend, I believe it sounds like we're going to do some double IPAs. That sounds right. Tom Baldy, if you're available next weekend, hit us up. You can eat. come over here, chill out, eat some good food, eat stuff. have some dippers. Yeah, I agree. You stopped watching? Fuck you, Tom Baldy. You're not invited. <laughs> How do you know he stopped? Because he said they got to go. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We still love you, Tom. It's fine. It's fine. Honestly, the truth is we don't have Tom over until about November 11th. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fair point to be made there. It's a fair point to be made there. We we the problem is we could have <laughs> that'll some be really, a show. That'll be a show <laughs> after the election. Yeah. yeah, we love Tom. Uh, we I you know what Tom is one of we love the, Tom. one of the fun people to hang out with because you can talk you can talk to him. He doesn't have to agree with you, and then he's not also going to turn around and not like you for who you are. You can talk some shit to each other right. about yeah. your opinions, about your views, and you know what? Yeah. We're cool. We walk away. That's right. Tonight, we walk we away. We shake That's hands. We throw hug it out. That is oh, the way good. it should be. So mad, I agree mad that. respect to Tom. All right. I, I so next week we're going to do some dippers. Hopefully, um, mostly to get the Dunmo in and a few other Oakland United. Um, for sure, a few other options there. That's going to be fun. Um, Randy is going to hit us up for this barrel aged tasting. Yes, we got to figure that out. Um, which will be fun. We've got some more. Um, should probably do that. I got to figure out what this week. Uh, what else do we have in the pipe? Oh, we have the Belting Beaver Anniversary Edition coming up. Picked up the Belting Beaver Anniversary Pack. That's coming out. No, you did. You got the glass. I got the shirt. No, you're talking to the wrong person. Yeah. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I don't have a Belting Beaver glass. No, I ordered the pack. You said you were going to go have Oh, the yes. Shirt, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but we haven't gotten the beer. I get the shirt. You get the yes. glass. That's right. Yes, I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. That was the agreement. Yes. I'm right. right, it's later this month. So the Belgian beer Amber's no, no Amber, you're gonna get the beer. Oh, I'm yeah, Amber's yeah. gonna get the beer, I'm gonna get the shirt, Shane's gonna get the glass, we're gonna taste some of the beers. But the beer is just gonna be a nice selection. We're gonna well, do it. Right, I remember now. It'll be a I think we'll probably do the Belgian so beer probably, anniversary probably, as a non probably. as a non-blind, honestly, since it's a couple barrel aged. Um Amber will get some beers, you'll get some beers. We'll, we'll have a nice drinking night. I mean, it'll be fun. Great. So that's coming up pretty soon. Uh barrel aged dippas. Uh as mentioned, Oakley United on Wednesday. Yes. So if you're available, and then we still got to do the wheel adjunct, we got to figure that out. We got to probably pick out some adjuncts. Thing. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be fucking terrible. It's gonna um, be a waste. Uh, let's see here. Side, side. Oh, side note: uh, if you haven't watched MTV's The Challenge, it's the <laughs> shit. You should watch it. <laughs> if you haven't watched Shit's Creek, it's the shit. You should watch it. Much respect yeah. to Shit's Creek. I've heard about it a ton, and uh, I would watch it if I wasn't too busy, like reading books and playing magic while smoking cigars. Um, I only have and so much challenge. time for certain things. And, frankly, and watching I, the challenge. How many episodes of the challenge have you watched in the last month? We've binged. Oh. We've binged. <laughs> no, we've been season 11 and we're on 33 now. We might have skipped a couple because I didn't have them downloaded yet. So we've you've binged 20 watched, seasons of a show. How many episodes per season? Seasons. Like 10? 14 to 18. Oh, holy And it ranges, cow. it starts at... They were 20 minutes 20 in minutes. season 11. And the next season starts the 90 minute episodes. No, 40. No, no, the next season. 30 minutes starts at 90. Oh, okay. Yeah. Could you binge 90 minute episodes of 20 seasons? No, 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 no. The first, the first, like, so 11 through roughly 25 or 26 were 20 minute episodes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then roughly 26 sense. to like 33 were 40 minute episodes. Ooh. And then season 34, 
the first like three or four episodes are 90 minutes before it cuts back a little bit, I think. Um, so no, we've been binging the shit out of the challenge. Uh, if you've never heard of it, it's, um, it's, a, it's a reality show. It's got um, a bunch of uh, people who have been on various reality shows. It used to just be real world road rules competitors. Right. I remember that. Right. Then, then, then they moved they used to be real world versus world, world rules. Yeah, that, that was it. That was it. So it's gone on from there. And then around season 25 or so, they started adding in some fresh people. And then they started adding in the other MTV properties, like, um, <clears throat> like Are You the One was the primary one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then in the most recent years, starting around 30 or so, they started picking up um, reality players from shit like Big Brother, um, X on the Beach, which frankly I've never heard of outside of the I've never heard of the other um, Love Island, uh, a bunch of other ones. So I don't think Love Island is. What ends up, no, but there's a Love Island UK contest on like Georgia. Mm-hmm. Like Georgia's literally Love Island UK contest. Um, Forget UK shows. Um, the point here is that then they bring in people from the UK and stuff. So basically, it boils down to this. It's a bunch of hot people. Generally speaking, hot young people, apparently. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, hot young people um, who compete in these challenges that are set up like in Mexico. Like, um, they're just they're just competitive. Well, the one athletic we were challenges. watching today, yes. the first one I ever was ever watching. This is the very last. It's a six mile fifty. It's a six mile loop. No, no, it's six mile loop. Uh, right, it was a six mile loop. You had to do three miles running in the <laughs> desert. Three <laughs> miles biking. <laughs> three miles biking in the sand. <laughs> And then do a challenge, and one, then do it again. And one girl, again. we haven't finished this episode yet. One girl got ambulanced out on the first loop. So I'm not kidding. They're like, in the desert. This is a legitimate show. It very, it very much looks like Moab. I'm not sure what it is, but it people, very much looks like a Moab, Utah. In, like, yeah, no, people in good. They're actually like after them. People in good <laughs> shape, legitimately. Yeah, people in good shape, legitimately get a hurt. Like there's some safety stuff in place, but the truth is. I've seen lots of broken things. There's an awful lot of broken shit going down in the show because, I, you know, it wasn't exactly the safest for a long time. Plus, they gave them unlimited alcohol. Oh, in the beginning. And yeah. unlimited condoms. And they oh, got yeah. in fights all the time. And if you threw hands, you got kicked out. But if you got up in their face and they threw you hands... You hit a headbutt and if, it was okay. If they threw hands... This is why I don't watch this crap. No, it's the this greatest. is just the greatest. The greatest. So good. So good. Society. Society. So good. This is terrible stuff. This Andrew is says, next so time a can of peace. What people should be watching. <laughs> they really That's right. No, Andrew, Andrew wants us to get just completely <laughs> shit-faced. So, so anyway, the challenge. It's fucking awesome. Just so fucking sure. look it up, dude. It's great. Um, okay. Seriously. Hey. Young people, Thanks. drinking, fighting, fucking, doing competitive fucking shows. Or competitive athletic events. And then winning money for it. I... It's literally the oh, downfall. It's stealing money from It's the downfall of our society. It's very likely the downfall of society. But goddamn, is it entertaining as shit, man. I'm not kidding you. Like, I would go to bed and we'll start a show. And Anne will be asleep by 10 minutes in. And I'll be like, I should go to sleep. Start the next one. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's what, Shit's Creek last night. We were like, I'm like, I should go to bed. And then I started another one. I'm like, I should really go to bed. Oh and my God. It's so, it's so good. It's so good at this point that we'll watch a show and I'll be like, yo, I'm going to have a cigar. And she'll be like, Okay, and I'm like, okay, so how about you just watch the next episode here, and I'll watch the next episode while I'm out there, and then when, we'll only we'll each agree to watch one, only the one, and then we'll just reconvene after I smoke the cigar, and then we'll watch the next one together. And we do this. It's the first show in the history of our entire relationship where we agree to watch an episode separately and then reconvene afterwards. I'm not kidding you. I'm not, I, I cannot express how much I enjoy the show. And I wish that I did it, but god damn, it's fucking <laughs> great. It's so good. So good. All right, that's any, my, any, that's, any that's my rant. That's any my rant on the TV channel. So join us on Wednesday at roughly Wednesday. 1 to 2 p.m. We'll post some updates on the Beer Spending page yep. um, for Oakland United. Oakland United. Uh, Tom, Randy. hit us up. Talk about when you want to be here. Randy, hit us up. Randy, hit us up. Talk about when you want to be here. Um, anyone else who watches and is local and loves us and wants to hit us up. Be here. Um, let us know. It's fine. We don't have to drink eight beers ourselves. We will do it for the people. For the people. Uh, hit us up on Facebook, beersplaining.com. Beersplaining.com Check is our, our website. YouTube. Check out the YouTube. Give us some subscriptions. Uh, we're, we were at 15. Oh, nice. Right. 985 to go. 985 to go. That's all we need. Uh, otherwise, that's it. That's all I got. Be safe. Be healthy. Go vote. <laughs>